How's it guys? So, I needed a new laptop for my 9 to 5 work. And I had some requirements, obviously first of it, first of all, it being light. And you wouldn't believe it, but it came down to the ASUS Expert Book. So, what if I told you you could get a powerful business focused laptop that balances performance, durability and affordability? That's why I went with the ASUS ExpertBook B1, the B1502, a laptop designed for professional, student and remote workers who need reliability without breaking the bank. And I can attest to that because this is my daily driver for my 9 to 5. So this machine is built to handle your day-to-day -day tasks with a 13 gen Intel Core processor, solid connectivity options, a sleek and business class design. Down to the specs themselves, starting off with the processor. So this is, so it comes in either an i5 or an i7, but I have the i7 13 gen. So the i7 13 gen is a 1.9 gigahertz base clock and can be turbo clocked at up to 4.6 gigahertz. It is 10 cores and 12 threads and in regards to RAM, this has 8 gigs of DDR4 onboard memory and one DDR4 SO DIMM slot, which can support up to 48 gigs of DDR4 RAM. In terms of graphics, this comes with the Intel Ultra uh, HD graphics for the i5 and the Intel Iris for the uh, i7. It's not the greatest for gaming, but I mean, for productivity, it's 100%. So in terms of storage, this supports up to a two terabyte PCIe SSD uh, M.2, but I have a one terabyte in mind. In terms of the build, it is 36 by 23 by 1.9 centimeters. It's a business centered polycarbon chassis that has a military grade A10H durability certification. The device itself weighs approximately 1.7 kilograms. It's not the lightest, but in terms of portability, this is 100% spot on because I mean, the other device that we were comparing this or that we were looking at was nearly, I think it was 2.6 kgs. And I was like, I'm not carrying that by any means. And as much as I go to the gym, I was not carrying that as my daily drive. In terms of the screen, this has a 15.6 inch full HD screen. So 1920 by 1080, and it's an anti-glare display. In terms of the battery, you can get up to eight hours worth of battery life on this device and it supports fast charging with up to 60% in 49 minutes. Now, in terms of the ports, you have one USB 2.0 type A port, then you also have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A port, then you have one USB 3.2 Gen 1 type C port that supports power delivery, and then you have a second uh, 3.2 uh, Gen 2 type C that supports display and power delivery. You have an HDMI 4.1, a full HDMI that supports 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz. You have a 3.5 mil combo audio jack, a full RJ45 uh, gigabit ethernet jack as well. In terms of connectivity, this has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. With regards to the keypad and the trackpad, this is a spool resistant backlit keyboard, which has also has a large precision trackpad built with it slightly offset to the left hand side. The trackpad is also built with a fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello and the webcam that's built into the device has a privacy screen sort of integrated into the design of the device which I think is very very cool. Now when it comes down to it who is this device for? So I'm not someone who does heavy coding or anything like that at my 9 to 5. Um, if you're a business professional, a student or someone looking or who works remotely, this machine is reliable, it's secure and at a competitive price, right? I mean, the work that I do, I am online on Zoom most of the days and I have Zoom opened and then I have my uh, PowerPoint presentations running and I obviously do some other stuff, some other applications and all of those things, mail and stuff running in the background. So this was the perfect device for me because obviously it's light and obviously I wanted type C and all of those things. And I've actually been running this device for nearly the past three weeks and it's been running me absolutely smoothly, no complaints. So when it comes down to it, how much does this device retail for? 
The device retails from anywhere from 12,999 rands for the i5 version and it is available in the i5 and i7 variant with obviously varying uh, RAM compatibilities and storage options. It is available only in this black version and it can be purchased from retailers like Incredible Connection, Eve Tech, uh, Game, Macro, most of your major retail retailers and even online. So if you want to pick it up, you can check out the link in the description below. And obviously not forgetting ASUS South Africa's website. Now down to the pros and cons. Here's what I love about the ASUS ExpertBook V1. Number one, it's great performance for business tasks and especially 9 to 5 business tasks. The second is its durability, military grade standard and its lightweight design. The third is there's great IO selections and we have the ability of upgrading storage and RAM. And the fourth has to be the competitive pricing. Some of the cons that I don't like is number one, obviously the device is not meant for heavy use like development, content creation, and even possibly gaming. And at times, I feel like the display could be brighter because I mean, obviously I do use the OLED displays. So I am used to how bright some of those displays are, but I'm not saying that it's not a good display. This is a great display, but if you want more brightness and you know, you, you more in a different sort of business approach rather than just regular presentations and all of those things, then the display might uh, you know, throw you off a little bit. Overall, I think the ASUS ExpertBook B1 is a solid business device for those who need reliability, durability, and good performance at a fair price. So if you're looking for an all-round workhorse, it's definitely something worth considering because I mean, if I've considered it and even gotten my workplace to purchase it, then you know it's a good device. So guys, um, this is actually one of the last reviews that we're going to be doing in the kitchen. Um, I mean, you guys are seeing the build of Studio 2.0. From my perspective, the studio is already complete and we're going to start recording in the studio. So this is one of the last two videos that you're going to see from this location. And I think the most thing I'm going to miss is that picture there behind me in every video. Um, but yeah. Here's two new things. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating video. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashan and I will catch you in the next video.